hey, today I wanted to talk to you about something that I discovered when I was using Claude.ai to write a blog post. So if you're not familiar with Claude, Claude is a competitor to ChatGPT and it's being developed by Anthropic. And the thing that I found when I created a blog post with Claude is when I ran it through originality.ai, uh, there was no AI uh, detected whatsoever. So if you've been watching any of my videos, I have a past video, uh, and it's all about why I deleted the most popular video that was on my channel at that time. And that's because I had done a whole video about hey, if you use this prompt and this prompt, you can bypass AI detection. And, you know, these things only last so long before the AI detectors get smart enough to figure out, uh, you know, what's going on with a particular tool that you're using, and then, boom, you start to get a lot of AI uh, content detected again. But... There's been so much talk about Claude and so much talk about the fact that it bypasses uh, originality.ai and, and doesn't get detected. I thought, what the heck, let's go ahead and try it one more time. Maybe originality.ai is caught up and Claude's going to get detected as AI content. Maybe not. So the very first thing, uh, here's the Claude interface, a lot like ChatGPT. In the bottom here, you start a... Uh, prompt with Claude and write a blog post. So let's go ahead and get a topic for a blog post. Here's a good one. I'm using Low Fruits. Low Fruits is my keyword tool that I love to use. So let's just copy this one, how to camp when you hate camping. So we're going to write about that. And typically my workflow is I always create a query in Neuron Writer, which is my SEO optimization tool. Uh, in this case, we're doing it because we want to get a set of keywords for Claude to write a post against. And the cool thing with Neuron Writer is not only is it going to show me all the keywords for this post that we're writing, uh, it's also going to provide the prompt for me that I'll use within Claude. So let's go ahead and do this query. And when it's done, we'll get back to the video. All right, um, Neuron Writer is almost done with the query. There we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. Those are the competitors that we're going to have to rank against. I'm just going to go with the default so I can get the keywords and the prompt that I'm going to use. So if you don't have an SEO optimization tool by now, I highly recommend Neuron Writer. Uh, you can get it on a lifetime deal at AppSumo. Uh, and there's a link in the video description to both Low Fruits, which is the keyword tool that I use, and Neuron Writer. I've purchased both. I use both for blogging. In the interest of full transparency, I am an affiliate for both. So if you do happen to make a purchase using the links, I do get a commission. So with that out of the way, we need to get our keywords over into Claude and write our post. So the nice thing about Neuron Writer and the reason I'm showing you this is in Neuron Writer, it's going to give me a prompt to use that I can copy and it will have all of the suggested keywords that should be in the article. So I'm just going to grab that. I'm going to go over to Claude and I'm going to copy in the prompt. And just so you can see what's going on here, that's the prompt that Neuron Writer creates. So you can use it in ChatGPT, or in this case, Claude, and create your own blog post. So if you don't have a, a SC, if you don't have a AI writing tool, uh, you can use Claude or ChatGPT along with Neuron Writer, and create blog posts. So we're going to have it go ahead and create this post. And the one thing I like about Claude is currently it's free. It's extremely fast. Um, it's just does a, a really nice job writing blog posts. So 
I'm going to go ahead, we'll pause the video, and when it's complete, we're going to see if it's still going to pass originality.ai like some of the previous posts that I've written with Claude have. All right, Claude has finished writing the post. I'll just scroll up to the top here so you can get an idea. Here's the post that it's created based on the prompt that I pulled from Neuron Writer along with all of the keywords that I want to include. So now what I'm going to do is copy this. Okay, let's take the output from Claude and we'll scan it in originality.ai and check it for plagiarism as well and see what we get. So that's the post. Let's go ahead and scan that. And we'll wait and see what we get. In the meantime, I'm going to just pause the video while originality.ai does its thing. All right, originality is done. And unlike some of my previous posts from Claude, which had zero AI detection, here we are at 66% AI, 34% original. So let's go ahead and see how we did from a plagiarism standpoint. From a plagiarism score, it's great. It's 0% plagiarized. So I find this sort of interesting because uh, a lot of the blog posts that I was creating in the past and just checking to see how this would work, uh, I was getting 100% um, original. So Again, this is why I don't do a lot of videos about how to bypass uh, AI detection because the tools are continually being updated uh, to uh, detect things that weren't detectable in the past. So I am not hung up on whether my blog posts are detected as AI or not. Now, like I continue to talk about in most of my videos, you know, I want to make sure that you're also, you know, going through, you want to edit for, fa for facts and data and make sure everything's correct. Uh, I'm assuming you're writing about something or you're curating a blog about something that you have some knowledge of. So wherever you can add your own personal anecdotes and stories and information, that's always going to, to help as well. Uh, I'm not a big proponent of taking uh, a one-click blog post and just um, publishing that. Of, of course, I have read a lot of one-click blog posts that are completely factual and read well, and I make very few edits too. Uh, in fact, um, two tools that I use, uh, Koala Writer, and seowriting.ai, both of them do great one-click blog posts, and not all of them, but many of them, I just post right out of the box. Uh, I go through, I fact check, but as long as everything's factual, I just go ahead and post it if it, if it makes sense to do that. I wanna make sure that I'm bringing something that's quality, something that is useful for the person that's reading it, but if the one-click blog post has done it, I don't mess around with it too much. Now, um, we can talk about whether doing this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I will tell you if you're sort of writing everything on your own right now, you're probably one of the few writers left doing it because um, people are really scaling up websites quickly with AI. Now, what does Google think about it? I don't know what the future will bring. Uh, much of what Google says now is they're not too concerned with AI written content as long as it's quality. And so what I'm going to do is in this particular video in the description, I'll have a link to uh, Low Fruits, to Neuron Writer, to Claude, and I'll also have a link to an article uh, from the Google website that talks about uh, what it thinks about AI content and how it can be used and uh, whether, you know, it's going to affect your ranking. Again, these things are fluid. Google is very fluid. So 
Uh, all I can say is, you know, it's the latest information that I know of. If you have any information or links to any information that's more current than the one that I'll put in this video description, please put it in the comments so other people can read it. Um, again, you know, I, I try to keep up to date on all this stuff, but there's a lot of a lot of things going on in the whole world of Google, SEO, and AI. So it's impossible to know everything. And so I'm really depending on you as the viewer to let me know um, if there's something uh, more pertinent than what I'm sharing with you. So I hope you found this video useful. And until next time, take care.